So, current guys, may natunta ko nga okay lang mo, naapagyaman mo, mag-likes o mag-subscribe sa akong channel. Dili mo mapuraan o tanaw sa akong mga char-char. So, current guys, ang akong luhatun, na ako yung prefer nga phrases. Kaya na yung nag-request sa koa guys, um, gusto sila nga makabalo kung unsaon pag istorya o bisaya. So, na ako gihimo nga five phrases translated to English, Tagalog, o bisaya. So, hope guys, mag-enjoy mo, tapos maka makatuon mo gamay sa ako ang simple lang ang mga phrases. So, watch out guys! Here are the five phrases. Please take note guys, we are using three languages which is English, Tagalog, and Visaya. The first phrases which is good day in english good day in tagalog magandang araw in bisaya maayong buntag a phrase is good day it's a nature of a courteous people filipino usually begin conversation with this greeting even among themselves, whether they are speaking to strangers or not. The second phrase is, which is, How are you? In English, how are you? Tagalog, kumusta? In Tagalog, kumusta? In Bisaya, kumusta? Which is the same. The phrase is, how are you? It is more casual and can be used any time of the day. How are you? The third phrase is, which is, May I ask you something? In English, May I ask you something? In Tagalog, Pwede pong magtanong? In Bisaya, Pwede mangutana? A phrase is, may I ask you something, or a question, may I ask you something? As a traveler, you may not always be able to rely on GPS or any guides books to get around in any country that you wanted to go to travel. This question is very handy for getting or confirming information about various things from bus stops, locations, to restaurants, e entries or any mall entries or any question you want. You always ask me, I ask you something so that they will give you information that you wanted to go or any questions that you would like to know the fourth phrase is which is thank you in english thank you in tagalog salamat in bisaya salamat which is the same phrases thank you which is Saying thank you is a universal practice across cultures, so it's very useful. The fifth phrase is, which is yes. In English, yes. In Tagalog, oo or opo. In Bisaya, oo. Phrases yes, it's saying yes is much better than just nodding your head. And opo in Tagalog, if speaking to a person older than you, use the more respectful words opo. Oh, thank you for watching.
watching guys see you next time